salutations. That's right, we are not on a webcam today. No sir, like I promised you. I'm going to actually do a real video on that camcorder, fully charged up. Uh, as promised from the video from yesterday, I have a box opening today. Um, this box opening is going to lead to a new uh, project that I'll be making a video about. Um, this is the first part of that. There's a second part i got to get before I can actually do the product, which, uh, the project which I'll get into. Um, this package is from one of my subscribers and, and somebody that is it's a really good friend that I've been communicating outside of YouTube. Um, you know, there's a couple of the websites we go to that, that he's showed me. Um, of course, he's on Facebook as well, and I, and I, I get quite a, quite a lot of chat with him. You know, I've, I've really got to know him pretty well. Um, his YouTube channel, which will be down in the bucket down below, is uh, Suburban Rider, I believe, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, but check the link down below when I post this video. I'll make sure there's a link over there. Go over and check him out. He's really a cool guy. Lots of good stuff. Does the TD report. Um, and just gets a lot of interesting stuff. He does some science stuff. He uh, does videos with, uh, when he's riding his motorcycle. Um, just a really cool guy. You guys really need to check him out. So go by and check him out and tell him I sent you over there and subscribe to him. Um, the package... And I've just opened up the sides so it's easy to get into because I don't know you guys don't want to see it, but as you can see, it's pretty good size. Um, is this. Now, what's in here? I do know what's in here. What is in here are called gamma lids. Uh, gamma lids are designed to go on top of a five gallon bucket. Um, you know, the kind you get at Home, home Depot, Lowe's, you know, any of those. Um, there are two parts to the gamma ring, which I, or a lid, which I will show you. One is the actual um, part that goes on the lip of the bucket. There's an O-ring over that, and you slide it on. And once it's on, it's I uh, hear is almost impossible to get it back off. And then there's a lid that screws on in the, inside the the lip, and both of those have O-rings. Now you can actually put these on like uh, food grade buckets, you know, and put uh, beans, dried things like rice or something in there, and put in moisture absorbers and uh, oxygen absorbers. And actually, once you seal that lid because it's an O-ring. You can store stuff in there for a long time. I've heard people store beans in there for five to eight years in one of those five gallon buckets. The thing I will be doing, so my long time subscribers remember I did a, a series about my bob, my bug out bag. What I'm going to do, it's a new one. Uh, it's still going to be called a, uh, a bob, but instead of a bag, it's going to be my bug out bucket. Now, bug out buckets are different. Usually these are pre-made up and then you have them in your cache whatever, you know, stored out in the woods, by your camp, whatever, or you have them in your house. And these usually aren't something you want to just pick up and go because they'll be bigger and heavier. Um, you can lay a lot more stuff in them. Usually they're used for foods and stuff. That is what I'll be doing. Um, I've got these. I'm going to purchase some buckets, uh, hopefully this month, and then I'll be getting stuff to put into the bucket. So it'll take a little while to accumulate all that stuff up. But once I get everything, I will then put it in the bucket and show you what you can put in the bucket. You'd be surprised how much you can get in a five pound bucket or a five gallon bucket. A lot of stuff will fit in there. It doesn't have to be food. It can be anything you want to store because the lid keeps everything dry and safe and keeps bugs and critters and everything else out of it. So you can store anything you want in them. So I thought it would be a good idea. And I actually got this um, from my friend here. Um, he was actually uh, showing some of the ones that he had stuff, and I thought it'd be a good one for me to do um, because I do have people that you know watch that uh, that I watch also that are um, survivalist uh, people that you know want to keep stuff stored and and uh, you know preppers. Um, so you know it's a good idea, and I think this would be good because a lot of people probably don't think about this. And if you have thought about it, maybe you're wondering just how much it would cost, what, what, what you know, how much could you get into it, and stuff like that. So I think this would be a good series or a good video series uh, about that. So. Um, he sent me two lids, uh, and they'll be two different colors. Um, and then I will pick up some buckets, and then once I've got those together, I'll assemble them and show you what it looks like with it all together. And then in the third part of it is when I'll show you what I've actually bought to put in there. Part of it is I want to see if I can buy as much as I can get, like at the dollar store or Walmart. You know, it's most inexpensive stuff that I can get to show you that it doesn't cost a lot to have a bucket that's got a lot of stuff in it. Um, I'm not sure exactly what to go in it yet because I haven't really priced stuff out, but I will. Anyway, box. And lots of packing material. Holy cow. I may need a bag to put that in. Let's see if I can get out a lid. Hold on just a sec, guys. I'm going to make sure I don't make too big of a mess. There's one. Looks like there's a catalog in there too. Well, that's kind of cool. 
And there's the second one. Okay. There. And it didn't make much of a much of a mess. Which is good. Okay. Now one of these is a uh, older one that he had. It's gray. So, and see. Lift goes over, and in there is an O-ring. I don't know if you can see it. It's light colored. Oh yeah, you can see it. See that O-ring? When it goes on top of the bucket, it seals it off. And then this part screws out, and then there's an O-ring right there as well. So once you put this on the bucket, it pretty much seals it down, and you're gonna, you're gonna have a hard time getting that back off. I can see where it clip on there pretty good. And then you take this, and it would go into the lid, and you would tighten it down, and of course the O-rings make everything airtight, watertight, whatever. Um, so that's good. This is a, a gray one he had that he sent me. But he also sent me, and it's very orange, but I think usually in the video clip it almost looks pink. I know he did when he showed me in the video, he said. Um, this is a brand new one, and this is called a the Gamma Seal Lid. That's what it's actually called. Um, and uh, it's like the other one. Of course this one's got a... A black o-ring so it shows up against the orange pretty good the same idea you just do a twist and comes out so you just put that on there so you got two colors some people use the colors for different things um, some people use the, from what I've seen the gray one is usually stuff that's not food items or sometimes the colored ones will designate certain foods um, you know so you can certainly go by colors and there's quite a lot of colors to choose from if I'm not mistaken um, this fits a three and a half to seven gallon bucket or pail so you've got some size choices. I think I'm going to go with the five gallon. I think that'd be the right size. It seems to be the one most people use. So that's probably what I'll end up with. Um, he uh, also sent me a magazine, Popular Communications, huh? Shortwave listening, scanning, AMF, and radio history. Ah, uh, he knows me well. So give me a little something for reading too. But that's it, guys. So it's gamma lids. Yep. These are going to be these are going to be excellent. These are going to be good. And. Uh, I appreciate you sending it, brother. Um, I will certainly make sure your link is down below. Go check them out. Um, but that's it. Some of you might even know these. Some of you might even have some of these. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. I've got these. I'll get the buckets and then I'll assemble them. Show you what it looks like, and uh, then in, uh, I will pick up some stuff to put into it and load it up. So. I think it'll be a good series. If you guys got some ideas, uh, if you have already done some of these buckets and you've got some ideas of what could fit in there, or maybe you've got some ideas of what you want to see in there. Um, but like I said, I'm going to have a mix. I might put a couple of dried or canned goods in there for food and then some other stuff in it. I'm thinking more of a, uh, a bucket that might get you a couple days in an emergency or something like that. You could keep on hand. Uh, remember, if you have these buckets and you have food in it though, food, you can't store that stuff in real cold or real hot weather either, like out in your truck or something. You don't want to do that with food because that's still spoil it because heat and cold, not a good thing. Um, but uh, you can put dry goods in them and as long as you keep them in a nice cool like 50 degree area, I mean they'll store food in quite a long time. I know a lot of people do the rice, the beans, and things like that. So, um, and you know, I got two lids so I don't know, I'll maybe do something more food oriented with a second one. But um, I'm thinking, you know, probably a little bit of food in it, you know, medical, um, some other stuff, you know, essentials that you would need. Just something in the bucket that it's ready to go if you need it. So, if you've got any suggestions, let me know. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well. And uh, I know it's nice not to have a webcam video. <laughs> I'll try to do more guys. I really will. But you know, as you guys know, I've been working trying to get the hours in. Those hours are going to help buy stuff that I can do videos with. So it's a win-win it's a for everybody. Alright, thanks for watching. I look forward to your comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.